So I've wanted to shoot this video for some time. We're back to September, we're getting busy. The kids are back to school and they're back to their activities. We all have those nights where we feel like we can't cook a healthy meal. So for those nights, I really feel that it's important to do a little bit of game planning and a little bit of meal organizing. There's really no excuse if you can do a little bit of prep work perhaps over the weekend to prepare yourself for some healthy meals during the week. One of my favorite options is the crock pot meals. These are something that you can do ahead of time. You can put them into your trusty freezer bags here. They can be pulled out the morning of the day that you're really busy, throw them in the crock pot, and then you'll have a meal ready for when everybody gets home. I see a lot of children in my practice, and I think that for good nutrition, we have this really great window of opportunity right after school when they come home very hungry. And usually we tend to give them some snacks and they might be healthy, they might be things like crackers. Uh, these are just fillers really and then sometimes that affects their dinner time schedule. So what I like to do is feed them an early dinner, especially on those nights where we're going to activities early on like 5 or 6 o'clock. So often I will serve dinner between 4 and 4.30 and my kids really appreciate it. And after their activities are done, they might just have another snack before it's bedtime. So what I'm going to do today is do a lot of planning and prepping. So I've got all of my fresh produce. I've got some sweet potatoes, I've got carrots, celery, onions, we've got some garlic, and then I've got a little bit of grain that I can use. We've got our quinoa and some brown rice. I've also got some dried lentils, which work really well in the crock pot. I'm going today to do a lot of the chopping and then we'll be assembling some of these freezer bags. So really what I like to do is just find your favorite a crock pot recipe. You can go on Pinterest and, and, and find one that you really like uh, that can include you know, your particular food intolerances. So you might do completely grain free or you, you, know, you might be okay using something like quinoa or brown rice in yours. So whatever works for your family, go ahead and use that and just multiply it by however many nights that you'd like to prepare for. Uh, today I'm also going to be using a little bit of meat. That's just in the fridge right now. I've got some chicken and some sausage. That I'll be using and I'll be probably doing a little bit of like a Tex-Mex uh, stew for the crock pot. So I'll do all my prepping and chopping and then I'll let you see the finished results when we're done, okay? Okay, and we're back. I wanted to show you what I've prepped so far. So I've got my diced onion, I've got a little bit of grated garlic, We've got our carrots. We've got about four large sweet potatoes. We've got some dried green lentils, celery, sausage, chicken, and we've got our spices and the quinoa and brown rice. So I'm going to assemble one just to show you how it's done. Okay, so we've got all of our vegetables chopped up, we've got all of our spices here, we've got some quinoa and brown rice, now it's just about assembling it. Now I'm not really one to measure, but if you want to follow a specific recipe, then just get yourself a little measuring cup and then portion everything out into uh, your baggie. Okay, so let's do one together. So I'm going to start with some sweet potato. We'll do maybe just a couple cups of potato into each one. I love sweet potato, it's got such a beautiful color, full of vitamin A, which is one of your fat soluble vitamins, so be sure to have some fat with it. Very high in antioxidants and fiber, and lower on a glycemic index than a potato would be. So this is wonderful for filling up on. Okay, we'll do about a cup of carrots. And again, these are just rough measurements, as, add as much as you want. A cup of celery. We'll do roughly one onion, so maybe three quarters of a cup or so, maybe a full cup, depending how much you like. You might want to add just a little teaspoonful of your garlic, or you can use garlic powder, it doesn't really matter. So this one I think I'm going to do some lentils, so maybe a cup of green lentils and some sausage, because I think that's going to be a really good combination. So we'll do roughly a cup of sausage. No, maybe I'm going to go with two cups of sausage. 
There we go. Now you can add your seasonings if you wish. So into this one, I'm going to add some chili powder. Usually about between one and two tablespoons is all it takes. You don't want to go too much. It can get spicy, so if you have little ones, they might not enjoy that flavor. So I'm, I'm going to go two tablespoons with this one. And then I'm also going to add some cumin. I always do less cumin, so maybe just under a tablespoon. Now, depending what your liquid is going to be, if you're going to be using a broth that has some salt in it, then you might not want to add salt. I'm just going to add a little bit of sea salt in here as well. I'm going to do maybe half a teaspoon of sea salt. Okay, so this is my bag. Um, it doesn't look like a lot right now, but when I put this into the crock pot, I'm also going to add either a whole can of stewed tomatoes, I can add a carton of chicken broth, you could do even coconut milk if you like. You can add some other spices if, um, if you're looking for some different flavors, and if you don't like chili powder, just use some oregano, basil, um, those types of flavors, and that's okay. If this is still, you think, too little for your family, then go ahead and add some extra vegetables. And in fact, to this, I didn't add any grains yet, and uh, it really doesn't matter. I can add a cup of quinoa, uh, and that will taste really good. So let's go ahead and do that first. This is going to make it really filling. You just have to be sure that you do add your liquid into the crock pot because both the quinoa and the lentils are going to absorb about, oh, I'm gonna guess around four cups of liquid based on what I put in. So do be sure to add your uh, liquid. What's nice about this is, is it's pretty compact. So um, you're going just to basically get all the air out of this bag and by not freezing it with the liquid, you're going to have a lot more room in your freezer. So here's my little Tex-Mex sausage and lentil and quinoa stew ready to go. I'm going to write down exactly what I have on here. And if you want to read it, leave some instructions because somebody else is going to be making this like uh, your partner, then you can always write on the bag, you could say, add one carton of broth or add one can of tomatoes. So just write those instructions on here so that you know what it is and what it needs, and then pop it in the freezer. And what I recommend is taking this out the night before so that it has a chance to thaw, and that way when it goes into your crock pot, you're not going to get this frozen brick in your crock pot, and you'll know that it cooks evenly. So again, this is wonderful nutrition for your family, for your children, for after school, for an early dinner, on those days that you have too, you're just too busy to cook. Okay, so I do recommend having an early dinner prior to all the activities getting started, and then maybe just having a little snack after the activities are done. And you can see here that I probably have enough to fill at least five of these bags. So that's going to give me at least five meals. So let's say Wednesday night is your busy night. You'll have five weeks of Wednesdays done, okay, and ready to go. That's a really healthy alternative. You've got your clean eating here. There's no preservatives. All of this is good stuff for you and your family to eat. Helps you maintain your energy levels, it helps you maintain your weight, and it will help maintain your mood as well, both for yourself and your children. So I'm really happy to be sharing all this information with you. I will be posting these recipes uh, on our website and blog as well. So uh, stay tuned for those. Okay, have a great day.